Okay. Hey guys, it's me from Seas5 and welcome back to another episode of Popcorn and today I'll be reacting to Raya and the Last Dragon. Now before we start today's video, I must issue a spoiler warning. So if you haven't seen Raya and the Last Dragon or haven't had a chance to watch it, pause the video, go watch the movie and then come back to me because I'll still be here because the internet is forever, more forever than I will be. So let's jump into the review. So the first thing I have to say is that I really loved the setting. The setting was amazing. It was this brand new world that we've never seen. It was very colorful. And I loved the drastic climate approach that they took, like they did Zootopia, that there's a place where it's a desert, a place where there's a jungle and it's lush, and then a place where it's like the market in Bangkok, which is completely suspended on water. I really loved these settings and they were all very unique and very different to what we're used to. And I really liked that in this movie, they went for the representation. They went to great lengths to accurately represent Southeast Asian culture as much as they could. And they did a very respectful version of cultural blending where they still showed individualistic details but threaded it under one name. And that's what it's supposed to be about. When you blend cultures together, you take things that are very popular in each and you highlight them. You give each culture a chance to breathe, to be shown. And I liked how they showed that though this world is fragmented, there is still a thread holding them together. And I really liked that. I really liked the theme of trust. Though I found the way that they approached it a little weird, but that's okay because at least it's an original film. So my other favorite thing about this film was Sisu the Dragon. Sisu was a very lovely character. She was very lively and bright and she really pulled this movie through. And that's what I enjoyed about her. Like she was very bright and colorful and enigmatic character that you could really understand and really connect with. And you could feel her pain and her emotions when speaking of her siblings and what they did and when they went through each land and found the magic, you could see the nostalgia and the joy she was getting from piecing together her fragmented past, trying to understand what happened and learning along the way that what she understood had happened was the complete opposite of what she expected. I will say that Raya and Namari's relationship was also another thing I really liked. The two of them had a deep bond that still pulled together even after Namari betrayed Raya as children and manipulated her. Though I wouldn't agree at the end she manipulated Raya. I felt like it was Raya's fault that Sisu died. She was too quick, quick to mistrust Namari, attack Namari when she clearly had her weapon loaded which led to Sisu being shot and dying and she blamed it on Namari which wasn't fair it was Raya's fault she didn't trust Namari she broke Sisu's promise and she she overrided her dragon and yeah those were my thoughts about the film comment down below if you enjoyed it as well send a dragon emoji if you like Sisu or just send a little before we end today's video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and to ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload which is once a Friday and I'll see you guys in the next one bye